So this is going to serve as another example of writing out things like cell notation, predicting standard cell potential. And then there's one new piece in this question. I'm going to switch the reference in my reduction table. Okay. So the reference is normally hydrogen. That was in the previous lesson. And I'm going to switch the reference to water. And because water shows up twice, I have to tell you which water I mean, and I mean the oxidizing agent water. So I'm going to start with the cell notation. That's the first question. So I have a standard lead. So I have to realize, okay, I have the word standard, so I have the lead ion and solid lead dash dichromate cell. Okay? And the word standard is applying to both pieces. So even though it only says dichromate, we have everything in this dichromate half reaction. Okay? It's a short form. It makes it easier to convey whole half reactions without writing out dichromate, acid, chromium, water. That takes uh, longer. So the higher up is going to be my OA at the cathode. My lower one down will be my RA, and that's going to be at the anode. Okay. So I'm saying I don't have to do a big list and write all the ions. I'm just using my table to guide me and quickly figure out what's going on. Okay. Now we've got to remember the format of cell notation. What comes on the far left? Which, do I start with the cathode or do I start with the anode? Perfect. You have to start with the anode. Okay. Now, I'm just writing this as a little note. You don't have to write that, but it's a good visual. Anode, cathode has to be the other side. So my cathode is going to be the higher up half reaction has the strongest OA, and that occurs at the cathode. So the, that's going to go way over on the right. I'm going to start with the anode in my cell notation. Is there a solid in that lead half reaction? Well, there isn't as the OA. The RA, yeah, is neutral solid lead. So that's going to act as my electrode, PB solid. That's where you're actually going to connect a wire to. Next, I have to put uh, any electrolytes. Okay. I have PB2 plus, okay. and that's the only electrolyte in the half reaction. Okay. So that's all I need to put in for the anode side. Okay. Sometimes the electrolytes have spectator ions, sometimes they don't. They're both correct. On a quiz, I would mark both of them correct. Okay. On a test, you could see spectator ions or see them left out. Okay, so we're done with the anode. We've got to move over to the cathode now. I've got to put all the ions, not the count, just what ions do I have. So let's see, I've got dichromate, I've got H+, and Cr3+. Again, I'm not putting the numbers in front. It's just a list of what's in there. We don't add water to the list. These are all aqueous. There's no need to, to add an H2O liquid. Line to signify I've ended the electrolytes or any non-solids. Now I need something to connect a wire to at the cathode. Uh, and I do not have any solids. So I need to use one of those inert electrodes. Can anybody tell me an inert electrode? And I'll use whatever one you tell me. There's two options, Erica. Carbon. So that is the cell notation for this standard lead dichromate cell. Now, if you look at the way it was written out, it started with the anode first and the cathode second. And that's the format you're going to see in your, your questions in the book. Okay? It tends to be the anode cathode, just like cell notation. So that would have helped us a bit more. But we really didn't need that. Okay. Calculate the standard uh, cell potential. So uh, the oxidizing agent, 
Uh, that cell potential okay, is going to come from the cathode. Okay. I'm not writing out the whole half reaction because I wasn't asked to. Okay. So I'm just not going to take this whole half reaction and write it out. But the standard cell potential is positive 1.23 volts. Okay, the cathode that has the OA. Okay. We always go the reduction potential to cathode minus the anode. The anode cell potential, which we get from the strongest RA, that's the lower down half reaction. Okay. And don't flip it, just pull it straight from your table, negative 0 0.13 volts. Okay. Students will often just do this on their calculator if it's a multiple choice question. Okay. Make sure you subtract the two. So I put in a green subtraction. We have a positive number, and then we're going to subtract, and then we've got a negative number. I get a positive answer. I encourage you to put in that positive sign. It reinforces to me, the teacher, that you know it's spontaneous. 1.36 volts. Okay. That is the standard cell potential. Okay. We talked about the meaning of the standard meaning half having both sides. It also means you have to have one mole per liter of all the chemicals. Okay. If it's not one mole per liter, you're not going to quite have that voltage. Now something new. What would happen if hydrogen wasn't the reference? Okay. What if something else was picked as the reference? Okay. I'm going to figure out so this is the, I'll call this old, which is the regular volt reduction potentials. We're going to figure out these new potentials okay, with our new reference, which is water as our reference. We're going to see what happens if we have a different reference. So let's mark that in our table figure out what I'm talking about. So I'm referring to using water as an OA as the new reference. So I've got to find it. It's way down low. It's just below the zinc. Okay. It's minus zero, uh, sorry, minus 0.83 is the reduction potential with hydrogen as the reference. We're going to switch water to be the new reference. Water is now going to be zero. Okay. That's what it means as the new reference. Okay. Now I'm going to copy some of this into the table, which will help uh, explain it. So where's our water half reaction? So we have two H2O liquid. plus, I would encourage you to maybe put this into your notes also, plus two electrons produces hydrogen gas, two hydroxides, and the reduction potential used to be 0.83 volts. And now we're going to switch this as a reference, which means it's now zero volts. Okay, and we're going to have to readjust our other two numbers. I'm going to write those in, and we're going to readjust them. We have our dichromate half reaction, and we have our lead. Now, I'm not going to write out all of these half reactions just to save time. Okay? If you're confused, I would write in okay, this whole blue box and this whole blue box from your table, the dichromate and the H+. Okay? The top one was 1.23 volts. This one was minus 0.13 volts. That's the old. We've got to change those under our new reference.
we now have to figure out here's our zero. How far up is our lead now? Okay. Okay. This minus 0.83 is now our zero, so it's above the zero. So the, the new reference is going to be positive. We've got to figure out how far up is that. Okay. Now the the short way to do this without making it mental math is you, if you take the old reference and you subtract the new one, it'll determine this new reference voltage. So once you grab your calculators and do that, take the old reference and subtract away our new one. We're going to do that twice. We'll do it one at a time. Minus 0.13, subtract that old blue reference and it'll tell you how far up you are. And you should get a positive number because you're above the new reference. Point seven zero, I think. This minus 0.13 is 0.7 above our new zero. So this is the number we're going to have to use. Plus 0.73 volts. We've got to do the same thing to the 1.23. Figure out what would this voltage be with water as our reference. Okay. How far up, if you're minus 0.83 and you go all the way up to 1.23. You have to go up to zero and then up even more. But that same comment I made works. Take the old reference, subtract the new. 1.23 minus that old reference. And I encourage you to, to do that. Two point oh six. So this is point seven above our our new reference. This is a little over two volts above our new reference. We just reset this scale. Now, you might be a little upset with me with this last part, but you need to learn this. What happens if we use the, the new reference? We take 2.03, that's what we get with water as the reference. We subtract 0 0.70. And I'm not going to say the answer for a bit. I'll grab your calculator, do that subtraction. Okay. We're using our new red numbers instead of the, 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 the blue reference that your table has. It's the exact same thing. It doesn't change. That's my comment. You might be upset with me at the end. We did all this work, and it didn't actually matter, if you ch which is a good thing, because this isn't inherently zero. The water, oh, sorry, the hydrogen, H, 2H plus plus two electrons being zero, we just picked it as zero. It sets our scale, but it doesn't matter. Some We could have picked a different reference. You could have picked Hydrogen, you could have picked water, you're going to get the same voltage no matter what. This leads to two possible questions. Okay. If I ask you for the voltage with a new reference, okay. voltage, and there's a new reference. If it's the E naught cell, the voltage for the whole thing, do nothing. There's no point. You're going to get the same answer anyway. But if I ask you for one of those half cell E naught reductions, if I ask you for one of those red numbers, then you have to subtract the new reference off of it. So any question that you change the reference doesn't matter to the total voltage, cathode minus anode, the reduction potentials.
who cares, doesn't matter. But if I ask you for one of the pieces, it does. If you want to solve for that reduction potential, the new one, I'm just going to write out what I said orally. Okay. You take the E naught reduction of the old and subtract the E naught reduction of your new reference. I wanted you to see the subtracting the 0.83 before I try to turn it into a formula.